Hi and welcome again to another one of my instructional videos for how to play acoustic blues guitar, country blues guitar. And I'm going to show you a great song. You can play this if you sing, you can sing this one. If you don't sing like me, you can play it as an instrumental. And I'll give you some ideas on how to do that. And the song is called Step It Up and Go, and it's by Blind Boy Fuller, one of the great country blues players. Now, Blind Boy Fuller played on a national tricone. I don't have the money for one of those suckers right now. But I do have this guitar, and I'll show you how to play it. The song is in the key of G. You need three chords to be able to play the song, which is always nice. The G, C7, so here's a C chord. You drop your pinky in on the third fret of the thir third string. And then also, you slide that up a couple. You got a D7. So the whole song is basically G, C7, and D7. Very simple chord-wise. Now the signature lick of the song, and this is what makes it fun to play, is the boogie-woogie bass run that he plays throughout the song and at the introduction. So let me play it for you. Let me just play the, the first verse of the introduction to you for one time. So that is really the first part of the song. Now the bass run... What I'm doing, I'm not playing the straight. Instead, he plays a little, little twist here with his thumb and his first finger. You're going to have to use two fingers on this. If you play it without picks, you have to do this. If you play with picks, you have to do it. That gets kind of clumsy. I'm still working on playing it smoothly with picks. But what you can do is slide into that. And what I'm doing starting on the 3rd fret of the 6th string, that's my G note, and then I'm getting the open 4th string, which is a D. So I'm hitting that little lick before I go into the boogie woogie. And then as I pick it, I'm picking with my thumb and my finger. You don't want to try to hit the notes cleanly. What I mean by that is you don't want to hit, you don't want to hear just the, the, the note you're picking. You want to let it ring and if you hit these a certain way the whole guitar vibrates and the other strings and the G chord come out and this is what makes this song really cool. <laughs> Then he goes to a C chord. And when I'm playing the alternating bass, the whole song is your, once it gets going, is your standard alternating bass. For the C7, the 5th string, and the 4th string. And when I play this, I'm playing the C7. And then I'm dropping my pinky down on the 3rd fret of the first string. So the, the chord goes like, let me play the whole thing through. So I'm getting the C note, and then I'm coming down on the C7th. Then I'm back into it playing that with the pinky on the third string, third fret of the first string instead of the third string. So listen to it again. C7. Then I go to my G. What I'm doing is all, my alternating the bass. And then I'm picking those treble strings with my first finger. Now I'm sliding to my D7. 
just doing that, making my C7 shape and sliding, just picking the fifth string. Then back to my C7. G. And then I have this turnaround. Famous Blind Boy Fuller type turnaround with my pinky on the third fret of the first string, and I'm walking up the fourth string. Get that alternating bass. So that's the, the introduction to Step It Up and Go. Let me do it for you one more time. That's what he plays throughout most of the song. Now the difference, the variation, is when he goes into his solos. I want to call them solos, and the solos are just really picking off the off the main chords. So he starts out with the G. So let me take it from the turnaround. So I'm in a G. I'm using my pinky. If I'm picking, let me take the bass out. And that's what he's picking now. The whole time he's keeping that alternating bass going. Then he goes to a C7. to the D7, C7, then back to the verse. Then he does a little variation on that solo a little bit differently. Bass run. Back into the song. Now listen to the original recording to hear exactly what he's doing on that bass, but basically he's up here on the first fret of the four string. So it's first fret, four string, open, kind of a pull off, down to the C, fifth, third, fifth fret, third string, sorry, fifth string, third fret, and he slides into that D7, and back to the turnaround. seventh when he's down here. The alternating bass is the same as the C seventh, fifth, and fourth. And I'm hitting that open E string as I come back from the five to the four. So the first and second strings, the, the first is open. Step It Up and Go by Blind Boy Fuller. On that solo, if I wasn't real clear on that, I don't think I have that note.